Hey there awesome fans, Earl from Awesome Gaming here, and we've got more Bot and Kaidos, Eternal Wings in the Lost Ocean. Last time we went through the Garden of Death, learned that the Sword of the Heavens was not there, and learned that uh, Old Man Crumley took it to offer it to Mount Perchio. Yeah, we still need to stop him. So let's go ahead and hop on this elevator and meet him at the top. You're the ones I saw at Pamro's place. I had a feeling they would come. Only simpletons would dare to find out Persia. What do you want with the Sword of the Heavens? I'm joining up with Mount Persia. This sword will be my offering to him. What? No way! Now that the children of the earth have lost our powers, there is no way we would be able to defeat and seal the resurrected Mount Persia, as our ancestors did a thousand years ago. Given the circumstances, siding with the evil god in order to survive is a far wiser plan. We'll finally be freed from this filthy prison beneath the tank clouds. I've always longed to climb up to the sky and live a free life. You don't understand. This world is doomed unless we defeat Malpertio. You're the one that doesn't understand, girl. Had you lived a thousand years beneath the tank clouds as our people have, you would certainly have a different view on life. I heard Malpertio was awakened by the daughter of a Calvin. We once helped the Calvin's ancestor take the Earth Sphere from these lands. Their heir will no doubt welcome us should we present her with the Sword of the Heavens. Did this thing come be handed over the sword? Ah, Izudi! Your people, the villagers of Gema, tried to cast the spell of the god and failed miserably. Now that he's awake, there's no stopping him. Break the magic veil! No! Stop it! Hark, Melpercio, divine being, awake from a thousand years of slumber. Save us, the children of the earth, from beneath the tank cars. Lead us to our destiny. Oh. Divine light! 
Sophia! Why, there you are, Callus! I was beginning to wonder where you had flown to. How very convenient! I'll dispose of you later. O oh, heir of Calibrin, I present you with the sword of the heavens. Let us lay aside our past, that which took place over a millennium ago, and pray take us to the lands in the sky, to a new world order under rule of Malpercio. Do it, Crumbly! You done fucked it up, Crumley. Sword of the Heavens is a weapon magnus that everyone can use. Attack of 188, light of 113. Defense of 153, light of 115. Uh, I'm not going to bother putting this into Kalos' deck because I don't have him outfitted for light. And I don't have anyone else outfitted for light at, the, at this current time. So I'm not going to bother with it. Uh, looks like we have a hate-filled doll. This, the cute doll, transforms into this, uh, just so that you guys have that knowledge there. Uh, but the Sword of the Heavens, as well as the uh, Broken Earth Sphere, I didn't point that out. They they both come with the uh, spirit number of nine, just like the Ocean Mirror. So it's always going to be nine, no matter what. Let's head to Algarab. This is terrible. How could they? Tanny Melodia! He'll catch you for this! No, you must wait. You are too vulnerable to take. 
take on the evil god at this stage. Let us handle things here. You should return to your lands in the sky. Take the sword of the heavens with you. But... It would be foolish of you to die in vain. Besides, this is our duty as the children of the earth. Mizuki, you must go with him. Your father and I and everyone in this village have a duty to fulfill. A duty that is different from yours. But, but, You must carry on, Mizuki, as the very last hope and pride of the children of the earth. You know you have to survive. You have a mission to accomplish. Besides, you underestimate our powers, your mothers and mine. Though we may not be of your caliber as wizards, you have no idea how far a parrot would go to save his child. Rest assured, Mizuki. Also, it's easy to forget that Mizuti is actually only 14 years old. Let's go, Callus, great Mizuti. The people of this village must do what they have to do. We can't die here. Not now. Suppose we escape, believe everyone to die. Even if we do save the world, could you live with yourself? <sighs> I didn't come this far to watch those innocent people get slaughtered. No way. Uh. The future of our world may depend on whether we can return to the sky with a sword. 
I know. But if the only future we have means leaving these people to die, then I want no part of it. Besides, I don't intend to lose. <sighs> I was waiting for you to say that, Callus. What do you think? That's my partner. Okay, let's get back into action. You ready, Great Mizuti? Mizuti broke her mask. This is the one and only chance that you will be able to see Mizuti fight without it. Which means one special opportunity to get a photo of Mizuti without her mask. This is why I decided to bring Mizuti into this fight, mainly because of that, but also because we haven't really seen too much of her. So let's, uh, let's have some fun. So, um, yeah, to talk about the elephant in the room here. Yeah, we're fighting about Persio right now. So... As you would expect, he fights with the Dark Element, and is overall a big pain in the ass. Alright, let's uh, go ahead and heal up Savina here. For you. Going after Mizuti now. Alright, let's see here. Not much else I can do. Damn. Go 
ahead and just boost up Mizuni's defense some more. Here. Now it's going after Callus. I was just prepared to defend against Malpertio at this point. Safina, on the other hand... No, okay. Alright, Callus, let's do what we can here. At least we got a uh, prize combo there. Sword style! Seventy. That's not a whole lot, but it's really the best we can do at this point. Use this. Here. Only the burning arrow while I'm at it. Zuri, we're just getting mixed up here with what we've got. This isn't really the best, uh, showcase of <laughs> this fight here. Alright, we got another camera. So yeah, in this fight, your cameras should automatically be turned to Mizuti. Because there is a another Magnus available to you. A photo available to you at this point. We got the standard maskless Mizuti photo, as well as a rare photo for the maskless version of Mizuti. Don't be nervous. Alright, going after Mizuti this time, that's fine. And looking at what we got from Attack Magnus, we Good enough to go with. Alright, Safina. Heal up Mizuti. Use this. Here. Now he's going after Safina. Well, Savina's primed for for a big hit this time. That's what Kels has. He's still got all of that. Heal up Savina. Here. Alright, Mizuti, let's see. 8-8. Eight, eight. Three. Three. Five. Alright. We'll just stick around here. And Savina. Seven, seven, six, six, four, four. That's the type of damage I like seeing. Alright, we'll use our Tekkens to block. Good call. Alright, we blocked that pretty well. And Savina's turn again. Yeah, the whole agility thing is uh, going out the window at this point. One through five will get us. Special attack. Mm, not bad. Could have been better if he didn't block them all. Here. Alright, two, two. And two. I don't want to use my shadow gate because we've got the um Light flare in there. Alright, Sveen's gonna go ahead and shuffle up her deck after this. Just 
just let the attacks go through. 510. Our holy grail, like that. So, the worst that's gonna happen is we just heal off one HP for, from this damage. Alright, Sphina's so shuffling. Zudi's turn, yes. Another um, attack madness there. Alright, let's see. Now we're getting all of our offenses here. Okay. So, Callus, let's go with. 3 3. Poke him with the Viking Helmet. That was a lot of damage. I like that. Go with four. Ah, uh, now he's going for his special move. Soul Drain. I think it's obvious on what it does. what I like to see, and he is hurting now. Alright. Heal up Savina there. And it's Savina's turn again. One, two, three, four, five. This might be enough to take him out. Special attack. Vanish grenade. Nope. Alright, let's continue on then. Seven, six, five. Uh, five, sure. This. Say your prayers. Sword style. Happy way. Did we get him? I think we got him. We didn't get him. I suppose the good thing about Mopercho is that he takes a while for his attack animations, so it gives you enough time to select your defense. Alright, he's attacking a Zudi. Heal up Savina. There we go. Callus. Still have our camera with Callus, I think. Or not. Here. This will help. Uh, Savina, I'm sorry, you're about to get uh pummeled. Ouch. 888. With 166 on top of that. All right, Savina, let's finish this. Oh, we get a second go, but what I'm gonna do is use my camera on Mizuti. Don't be nervous. Alright. Death pendulum at the end there. Oh, we got him.
been lost. The sword broken. The mirror shattered. The spear smashed. How do you intend to face the might of Valpertia? <laughs> we will leave you be for now, though. Take your time to taste the fear of death. You will pay for challenging his will sooner or later. I'll be seeing you, Callus. Next time we meet, it will be the end for you and your friends. <laughs> there is no Magnus that we get immediately from defeating Malpertio. Everything is gained through photos. And as you can see here, our very first pick that we took from Mizuti was the Mega Rare Mizuti pick. This is worth a fortune. So you damn well know we are going to be grabbing that. We also have the Maskless Mizuti here. So as, as long as you see at least both of them in this screen here, they are added to your get gathering menu for 100% completion. We did all we could. <sighs> this place isn't safe anymore now that the tower's barrier is broken. Malpercio's minions could come attack at any time. I agree. The children of the Earth should move to the sky, to Anue Nue. We must join forces if we hope to win. I see what you're saying. I'll have everyone prepare right away. Once ready, our people will join you in the sky. Please tell the people of Algarab to hurry as well. Buh. You must be happy. This is your first class ticket out of here. Callus! I'm... Terribly sorry. I didn't think it would come to this. I... I will stay here. What are you talking about? That's not going to solve anything. But... If you feel guilty for what you've done, the best thing to do is join the others up there and fight for what's right. This battle's not going to be pretty. Yes, you're right. I will. Well, why don't we head up first? Before you leave, take this, Mizuti. What be it? This mask has been passed on for generations among our village elders. It originally belonged to one of the ancient wizards. I would like you to wear it. I will! The great Mizuti thanks the great Kamro. Let's 
Let's go! And we get the Broken Heaven Sword. 63 attack, 38 light damage. Cannot be used for defense anymore. So, yeah. We basically only have this weapon <laughs> for the fight against Malpertio in its full form. <laughs> Alright, so Mizuti has gone back to wearing her mask. We have now officially missed our chances for any maskless Mizuti uh, photos. Now, I know there's someone around here that gives us something else. Here we go. Even though it's just a magnet, it still slows me down when I run. The Sun Anklet. New equipment for Shella. Attack and defense go up by a lot, agility by a bit, HP boost of 30, of 10%, 30%, that'd be awesome, and all-around good defenses to certain status effects. We'll go ahead and equip that. And we're basically done in, in a dearth. There's really not much else we need to do here outside of uh, stuff in the late game. But we'll tackle that when the time comes. As we come to the Dura Port, our good old friend, the White Dragon, is here waiting for us. Before we go on, I do want to visit the church. And level up, because God knows we probably need it. Uh, yeah. Callus gets seven level ups. <laughs> 6 for Savina. Wow, Callus is caught up to Savina. <laughs> and we got 7 for Mizuti. So Mizuti is now broken level 40. Shell is at 44, so Callus is now out leveled uh, Shell up already. Uh, Liud is still sitting around at 39, and Gibari goes up to 44. Alright. Let's hand off what we have for Constellations as well, because I believe we should have all 12 of the uh, Zodiac completed by now, once we hand off what we've got. Ares, Cassiopeia, and Gemini, yeah. I believe Ares and Gemini are the last two we need. And Gemini. Yup, there we go! Oh! At last, the twelve constellations of the Zodiac have been restored! I had completely given up hope that a complete restoration could actually be achieved. I owe all this to you. I can't thank you enough. Please take this, a small token of my gratitude. For completing the 12 Zodiac, we get Pendulum Blast, the level 7 finisher for Gibari. As for the other three magnets that we returned, we get the Girlish Birdie, Hair Aftercare, and a large shortcake. I don't know how much of a difference the girlish birdie is. It is actually a huge, significant difference. We definitely could have used this before the fight with Malpertio. Oh well. The uh, large shortcake that we got is similar to the uh, small one that we've had for all this time. It just increases the attack by 40. And the hair aftercare, it is similar to the shampoo and conditioner magnets that we got. Its main purpose is for specific recipes. <clears throat> Excuse me. Alright, let's hop on the dragon. 
and head on back up to the clouds. So it takes us immediately to a new and away. And we're immediately at Corellia's Palace. Cadell told me what happened. Welcome back, Callus. Thanks. But I owe my return to Shella and the others. And COVID-19 too, of course. I don't think I could have survived without them. That may be true. You may have been eternally trapped in darkness. But, thankfully, you're back with us now. With our combined efforts, it may be possible to destroy the Wicked God. Let us join forces and face this crisis head on. Callus. <laughs> King Lodicon, I'm... Don't. You don't need to say anything. You're back with us now. That's all we care about. Let's destroy Malpertio and end this war. Hmm. Callus, you managed to cast aside the powers of darkness that you had received from Malpertio. Since you were able to do that, perhaps there is still hope for Melodia. Please. Please save my Melodia. Duke Calbron, I will. I'll bring her back out from the darkness. I promise you that. Callus, thank you. I know you can do it. Duke Calbron, are you all right? I'm fine now. I certainly don't want to stay in bed while others are out fighting the good fight. How did it go? Well... I see. So, even the ancient wizard's descendants are unable to stop the evil god. Hmm... <laughs> What should we do then? Sooner or later, the enemy will wear down our defenses unless we take some sort of action. For now, they only seem to be launching small and sporadic attacks on our towns and villages. It's as if they're toying with us. Whittling down our strength. I say we should give them all we got! Full throttle! Invade Gore Hydric Castle and wipe out Mount Persio while we still have enough manpower! It would be foolish to throw away your life like that. But... I doubt we could invade the castle with our current capabilities. Maybe you're right, but still! So you're saying that even though it's a shot in the dark, it's all we've got going for us? That's what I'm saying. If we give it a shot, it just might work. You'll never make it into Core Hydra Castle. Your Majesty, it's been a while. So glad you're in good spirits. It's good to see you again, Queen Shella. Why don't you think we can make it into Core Hydra? They have raised a powerful shield around it. There's no way we could penetrate their defenses. A shield? Well... 
trying to force your way in is useless. We can't afford to sacrifice lives in that manner. Uh-huh. A simple-minded, happy-go-lucky guy who uses brute force to solve everything is a major turn-off to girls. That's enough. As you wish. This meeting is adjourned. In time, with the children of the Earth helping us, we should be able to come up with a viable plan. Yes, indeed. You all must be very tired. Take a well-deserved rest. this for you. We went to Sadal Sud for a report. Someone told me to give this to you. Hmm. A letter for me? There's something I need to talk to you about. I'll be waiting for you in Sebel Rai Village. Larry Kush? The duck, back in Sebelrai. Could he really have been working for the Empire with Gramps? Something to talk to me about. What could it be? Huh? What is it? Nothing. Thanks, Ketrin. No problem. Will you do me a favor? I need to go to Sebelrai. To see Larry Kush. If he really did work with Gramps, he probably wants to tell me something about those days. This is a personal issue, so I don't plan on getting Shella and the others involved. Are you with me? I knew you'd say that. Thanks. Let's go. Alright, off to Sebelrai we go. Let's head on out and... Hey kid, where do you think you're going? You're going to see Dr. Larry Kush, aren't you? We'll go with you. But this has nothing to do with you. It must be about Gramps. Precisely. I'm curious as to what the famed engineer Dr. Georg was working on for the Empire. You could get in bad, bad trouble. The great Mizuti should watch over you. It's really none of my business what you've got to do, but going at it alone is out of the question. I don't know what to say. Say, let's go. Okay, I guess we're going along with the rest of the gang any oh. anyways. <laughs> Alright, that said, uh since we now have free reign to go around the islands once again, there's a few things we need to take care of. First and foremost, I'm gonna go into this house here. Wrong house. First and foremost, we're going to go into this house here. Come to think of it, 
We were supposed to take some animals to Kefal Jidma. We can take a fantail duck, can't we? Let's ask. Can I keep one of them? No way. I can't give you my ducks. They're my friends. I'll give this to you instead. You better take good care of it. Looks like I can get the magnet essence of the egg. We don't need it. Yeah, don't think we should. We'll be able to get them eventually, so in the meantime, let's head on over to Opu, actually. So, here we go. And here in Opu, what we want to do is come around here there's actually a ladder that we can climb to get on top of the houses here. In doing so, a water lark is right in front of us. We're asked to gather animals. Well, let's grab it. Okay, I got it. <laughs> we take it to the capital Chipmunk, the lady should be happy. So we have the water lark. From Opu. Next up, we want to go into. Well, not really into, but back to the Celestial Tree. Because. Pigeons! Alright, that's actually all the animals we can get here in Anua Inoue. The fantail ducks we don't get from the from uh, Komomai, we actually get them somewhere else. So if we go back to the port, there's nothing here for us, but if we... Now we can hop on the white dragon to go wherever we want in the world. As you can see, the uh, children of the earth are already here on a new anyway. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna head off to Mira. And there are two animals here for us. But first, quick detour to Detorn. Where is this guy? Alright, hold on. Let me run around here. Nope, that sun's coming our way. Go through here. And we can't go through. Damn. Golden Hero was supposed to be around to give us something. Slime is just going to be in the way. Go down or up. Nope, don't come this way. Don't come this way! Right, go to the fire. Thank you. Alright. No. Where is the golden hero? <sighs> All right, forget it. We're supposed to be able to get the gold, the uh, golden pickaxe from the hero once again if we ever get rid of it. I don't know why he's not spawning, so we'll just leave it be for now. We'll grab it later on once I figure out what's going what's going on with it and why it's not showing up. Okay, going to uh, Balenciar. Gonna 
Hop on down. Grab the poly whale. Then if we go into the sewers, grab a hog rat. Pop back up. And we're all done here in Mira. dragon and there's actually nothing in diadem for us believe it or not so we can just skip that and head straight to Sadal Sud now that we're finally back in Sadal Sud Let's go ahead and meet with the... Well, first, if we want to get this Cloud Gull... Oh, not the Great Thorn. How do we get the Cloud Gull? I think it's time to give up hoping that my Cloud Gull will heal enough to fly well again. Okay, yeah, we talked to this guy, and he'll give us the Cloud Goal. So, we have that, and we can that finally go back into uh, Rodolfo's mansion here. Back when we had control of Shella, we were able to go back in here uh, before. I just didn't because we didn't have any real need to. Let's go see what uh, Rodolfo's up to, anyways. Huh? Oh, it's you. You don't need to put your guard up. I won't do you any harm. Besides, I'm very much afraid of the forces of darkness. I plan on keeping a low profile. Lanacon and Corellia have joined forces, but as you can see, I'm too much of a coward to join them in battle. If I leave it all to them, everything should turn out just fine. Ah, fat bastard. So yeah, Rodolfo's being too much of a chicken shit to be of any help to us. Alright, I believe it was in this door? Yeah. Oh, he's called a Koa Monkey. It's Lord Rodolfo's pet. He doesn't pay attention to it like he used to, though. Makes my job difficult, and I don't know what to do about it. If you don't mind, could you take it somewhere? I'll explain his disappearance to the people of the mansion. Well, it's an animal. Alright, before we leave, let's finally do something with this pal milk cheese. Where could it be? Hmm, are we out of cheese? Without cheese, I won't be able to finish cooking the main dish. We're using special homemade tomato sauce. The flavor won't be complete without some cheese. You don't happen to have any by chance, do you? Here you go. I've been carrying it for, what, ten episodes now? Huh, you giving this to me? We were in a jam running out of cheese. I can make the main dish now. Thank you. Now I can go home. Yeah, before you go home, sign this. I meet my grandfather every day. Isn't it a bit too dramatic for me to sign a family tree and then rush home? All a fear. 24 years old, female. A pretty young lady with excellent cooking skills, but pathetic luck with men. 
Um, yeah, and with that, we actually completed uh, Sabin's quote-unquote family tree. <sighs> I don't know how I feel about that. <laughs> out and let's actually go see what the good old polygamist is up to I wouldn't really call him a polygamist because it they're he's had wives at different times not at the same time ah eh, whatever Place has gone quite a bit lively. You can actually see Nubita Sabin over here. I don't know anything. I didn't see anything. I didn't hear anything. It's not my fault. I intend to convey that by keeping silent. So please don't talk to me. I don't understand. I am Sabin's wife, Alethea. I think you took him for someone else. Look him closely. This is funny. You can't be married to my husband. That's just impossible. <laughs> you shut up. Oh, give me a break. I'm Sabin's wife. Tulan! You're having an affair with my husband. Shame on you, woman. Yep, I think we uh, screwed Sabin out <laughs> over here. <laughs> oh, you've completed the family tree of Washia. I'll give you this as my thanks. We get a silver ash. Weapon for Gibari. Oh, You've completed the family tree of Sabin. I'll give you this as my thanks. Voice 4. And we don't need the terrible paintings here. There's something else that we need to get, I believe. No, that's his first wife. Oh, the drawer is open. Here we go. Yeah, this is it. Oh, I almost forgot. Tamiya forced me to open it. I had it locked for the longest time. I'm mighty embarrassed. There's a whole mess of things in it, but can you get rid of them for me? <laughs> There's a ton of naughty novels in this drawer. Should we take one? No, we don't need it. Had we brought Nubita here first, and Sabin would not come because Nubita is here, we would need to get the naughty novels, and that would bring uh, Nubita uh, Sabin he to us. Now I know there is someone else I want to talk to real quick. Uh, Kasim, no. Ah, yes, Kuteba. N no, say not this guy. Uh, God, who am I looking for? Gabriel and Yemen. That's right. I'm over here. Yep. Oh, it's you. How's everything going? Is the search going smoothly? Why am I grumpy? Oh, it's nothing. It's something personal. <laughs> I believe you men we talk to. My husband gets grouchy when Eunice is playing with other children. It can't be good for Eunice. It'll make her even more timid. Well, I didn't write my oldest daughter, Baj's name on the family tree. Is that okay? Okay, you want me to write it, right? I'll do it now. Baja, passed away at age 8, female. Yemen's daughter, killed in an accident. Hence the overprotectiveness of the father. An accident happened in the past, so since then my husband's been overprotective of Eunice. And with that, we finished another part of the family tree. Bloodline of Wisabia. We get the Aurora Defensive Magnus for... The women. Now, why do I keep hitting the wrong button? There's not a whole lot left. We've got two more here in Mistress Family. Uh, we won't be getting them for a bit. Then we pretty much have everyone from the fourth wife. Speaking of the fourth wife, we should be able to get the fourth wife at this point. Some of the people of the close relatives. 
Is it Nubito we talk to? She told my wife and daughter to come. They went hiking in the mountains to lose weight. They eat much, too much, so hiking is useless to them. Yeah, we won't be seeing them for a bit. Um, maybe Timmy has something? No. I'll look, I'll, I'll check, look it up later and see what goes, what goes on with that. In any case, uh, that's pretty much all I wanted to take care of, uh, here. So, next time, uh, we have a, uh, meeting with Dr. Larakush back in Saburai. So, thank you all for watching. Don't forget to subscribe for more great content. And we'll see you next time.